Hey everybody, welcome back to Kid Source. This is your old pal, Nutty Squirrel. Garrett challenged me to play some more Minecraft here on Kid Source, and I said, fine with me, sounds good. Minecraft is my very favorite game. And I'm just like a pig in mud when it comes to droppers. I pretty much win, 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 no matter what, what, what. This is level one on the Mega Dropper. We're gonna get it lined up just right. And go for it. Oh, and that was not exactly what we wanted to happen. You can move your character around as he's flying through the air with the same buttons that you use to make him move around throughout the world uh, when he's walking. So we're going to line it up. And booyah! Looks like we had a perfect aim that time. And we have completed level one of this dropper. Now what you want to do on a dropper normally is you look around after you finish the dropper and you'll find some sort of key. In this case, uh, it's a block of sand. Uh, is the key to open up, you know, the next levels or the more difficult levels. All right, so we're gonna just jump right into level two here. Oh, and I landed on something. Well, we didn't go far, so we'll just keep going. I see the water down there. Oh, yes, perfect thing. Once again, completing the level. And we're going to look around again for a chest. And inside the chest will be a key that we can put in our inventory. And then you go look around up at the uh, entrances to the dropper levels up top. And normally there will be a spot to place the key. And that opens up the next level or the more difficult series of levels so i think we're done here i mean pretty much in a nutshell uh i dominate at minecraft so we'll have some more minecraft videos coming up on nutty plays and i hope you all will join us for that uh thanks for watching kid source and if you like the video give us a like and be sure and go and subscribe to our channel see you next time